Good evening, YouTube. Pipe Lawyer here, coming to you once again from the Manctuary. And this is a very, very special edition of Friday Night Pipes. Technically, it's not Friday, it's Saturday, the 14th. But what you're looking at right now is a portrait of a man that I loved and still love with all my heart. This is a picture of Dr. Clement Davis. And Dr. Clement Davis was many things to me. He was like a grandfather to me. He was one of my best friends growing up. And perhaps most importantly, he was the doctor who delivered me 43 years ago this coming Saturday the 21st but today is Saturday the 14th Dr. Davis's birthday and had he lived he would right now be 93 years old but for purposes of the pipe smoking community here on YouTube Dr. Davis was also or is also my inspiration for being a pipe smoker and as you can see in this portrait of him he is in his burgundy jacket with his beautiful black and gold paisley tie and in his left hand you can see the stem of a pipe very distinguished very very scholarly and Dr. Davis was a very intellectual man, very, very smart. He was a general practitioner. He was not a specialist. And yet, he was so good of a doctor that he, I guess you could say, he specialized in all fields because he was that good. He served in the United States military proudly. And upon his honorable discharge, uh, went into private practice as a doctor. He delivered me on August 21st, 1967. Shortly thereafter, my mother worked for Dr. Davis as his medical receptionist in Brooklyn, New York for 21 years. And for the first 21 years of my life, I knew Dr. Davis intimately as my doctor and as my very, very dear friend he literally knew me from from the moment that, that I was born um, and I've literally known him since the moment I was born so um, there are certain people in your life for whom words cannot sufficiently convey your love for them and yet, many times, these same people can leave behind a legacy that, if one is cognizant and willing to search for those invisible footprints of their love, will notice that legacy and will inherit things so much more valuable than money or possessions but memories dear thoughts and Dr. Davis is one such person in my life he brought me into this world literally and throughout the first 21 years of my life he tended to me and my family, my, my friends and my loved ones, healing them. I've heard it said that a strong man can hurt you, but a good man will heal you. 
and let there be no mistake that Dr. Davis was a good man. And below this beautiful portrait of him, which was created in the early 70s, I, I believe, about early to mid 70s, I have a collection of various of his pipes that my mother um, kept after his subsequent passing in 1989 at the age of 73. I believe there are still more out there, but these are the pipes that I have inherited. And I am not much of one for estate pipes, but Dr. Davis is more than just simply an estate. He was a man very near and dear to my heart. He was my grandfather. He was my Santa Claus. He was my doctor. He was my friend. Many times, um, we would have a good time. He, we, we would go out on Sundays my, my mother, myself, and various other friends that came to the office where Dr. Davis worked, and uh, Dr. Davis would come with us also, and we'd take his car and we'd go out to eat. Maybe go for a walk in the park or engage in some activity. And you know, just enjoy life. He was a generous man. I've heard of instances where he would ac accept payment from people who were destitute, low income. He would accept food as payment because he knew that they would cook well or clothing or something. He was a humanitarian in the purest sense of the word. We had a name for him. We used to call him Viejo, which is Spanish for old man. Because he was the eldest, you know, he he was the patriarch. He he was the rock, and uh, we used to live in an apartment above his practice in Brooklyn, in what is renowned, I believe, as Captain Cook's Castle in Brooklyn. Since Dr. Davis's passing in 1989, uh, the edifice has fallen into disrepair. Sadly. But I have the memories of many times when he would puff on his pipe that tobacco blend that he had specially made for him that was soaked in wine and it was sweet smelling. It was aromatic. Dr. Davis, to me, is the prototypical pipe smoker caring, loving, giving, intellectual, with a heart of gold. And today he, he would have been 93. This is part one of a special two-part edition of Friday Night Pipes. Stay tuned for part two.